What is going on everyone? So this is the first video of my Road to Recovery series because if you are like unaware, I tore my pec completely off the bone. So I'm having surgery on the 7th of July, which is in 10 or 11 days time. Basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna drill three holes in my bone, reattach the tendon because it's completely come off. There's actually a gap here in my chest and they're gonna put the tendon in those holes, like plug them in with a button, and then it should hold in from there. And I've spoken to Ryan Crowley, I don't know if you saw his pec tear video, it went viral, and he told me if I wanna be a bodybuilder, I, want, I need to get surgery as soon as possible. So that's what I've done, and um, yeah, it's in 10 days time. So what we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna be training legs, because lower body training hasn't been affected at all, I just have to make sure I'm not in pain. You'll get to see the warm ups that I do in order to uh, make my chest a bit more mobile and then I'll show you guys how to train chest. It may be if you're in the same position, like how to train, not chest, sorry, legs, um, while you've got a pec tear or some sort of injury in your upper body. So yeah, it has been shit, I have been upset about it, but you, just, you learn to live with it, I take it on the chin, you get used to it, it is what it is, I can't do anything about it now. My surgery's in 10 days, and um, yeah, let's go and train legs with a broken pec. Doesn't feel that bad. Alright cool, so I mentioned, um, I spoke to Ryan Crowley and basically I popped up to him because I had no idea what to do. I said what kind of specialist should I see and he said you need to see like an orthopaedic surgeon like as soon as possible. So obviously I've sorted that out, my surgery is booked for the 7th um, and yeah he just basically said regardless of how badly it's torn, if you want to be a bodybuilder you need to get it fixed. So from then on I basically took his advice, I researched it myself found out that it is completely torn off the bone because the physio told me. And I saw my surgeon two days ago and he said there's no point even scanning it just because it's so obvious what I've done because if I took this off, you'd see that there's a difference in between my pecs, like there's an asymmetry because I've literally torn it off the bone completely. Um, so yeah, surgery's in seven days and um, then I'll be in a sling for six weeks, won't be able to do anything, but I'll still be getting content out, I've got a few ideas. Then after that, it will be um, going into rehab for an injury, not for an addiction. And um, <laughs> yeah, it will be a good like, I think it will be a good seven months before I'm back into it fully. Yeah, long time. I need to know everything, who and the what and the where, I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the port. Small calves is the way forward, unless you're mad, then you've got massive calves. Push the belt. Yeah, big cuffs. It's alright, one day. So I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body. Another one body, that's just how it go. I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in Right, so basically, a bit of extra information behind the scenes of the injury. When I originally tore it, which the video will be put there. So basically, I was going down the stairs about two weeks ago and um, something fell off the windowsill and I went to catch it and it ended up tearing it even more. So I've got another bruise coming up now as well. I heard it tear and I know it's torn because I've got another bruise. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make a difference to the procedure of fixing it. So I wasn't too fussed, although I should be, but it doesn't change anything. So yeah, technically I tore it twice. <laughs> they were laying my feet. Boy, you got the wrong one. I gotta look over all of my publishing statements for Q1 as soon as the song's done. I gotta call up my mama and tell her I made it as soon as my log's done. I gotta read all my trade publications and sit my teeth till it. That's the last one. Now we'll go on to a bit more weight, but not the whole stack. Because um, I've got a bit of anxiety to lift heavy now, just because of what's happened. But you know, it'll go away once I'm back, get it. By the end of the year. Yeah. You ain't gonna tear anything else. <laughs> don't show speak too soon. You're laying out to stay on the go. I can't play with the pros and that like a rookie, so they overlook me. They not double up again. None of their nose, none of them cold. They just got lucky but never adapted. So I'm telling the one if it's come with the blows. My enemies cutting it close. I let them think that they got me, but what do you know? I had them be felt good though. I'm gonna get a nice pump and then a quad tire. <laughs> Everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws. 
doing two warm up sets and then I'll do one top set and then one back off set on everything. So like 8 to 12 reps and 12 to 15, that's enough to burn out a muscle group for one exercise. And we'll do that on everything and it should be enough to have the biggest legs a surgeon's ever seen. <laughs> my publishing statements for Q1 as soon as the song's done I gotta call up my mama and tell her I made it as soon as my log's done I gotta read all my trade publications and sit my tea till it is all done I think it's all fun Why you upset like Cinderella teens? Used to see the things I fin inside these denim jeans I can't associate with y'all this shit like ketamine Been on one, been on two, been on everything Bitch, I'm with my gang, with my squad, with the fuck? It's 20 reps Killer We'll do it one more time <laughs> One more? Yeah They gon' want a piece when you got it like that Like Jake said, we gon' spend it, get it right back Stack that internet money to the site crash they on IG, try to get a light back See, they don't talk that talk, they just type fast <sighs> That was a long set That looked painful It was good though <laughs> Do these us and these down, swear to God, and a dead thing change Don't forget where that sauce came from, best remember If you're struggling to feel a contraction in your calves Hold it for two seconds at the top and keep a slight bend in your knee. Don't ask why, just do it. <laughs> it's not the worst burn in the world. Oh yeah, another tip. When you're doing calf raises, push through your big toe. You get a much better feeling in your calf when you contract it. So instead of pushing just off the ball of your foot, try and push through your big toe all your weight. And it'll make a huge difference. Hey guys, so that's the end of the session. Just gone through legs with a pec tear. And if you're in the same position as me, which hopefully you're not, just make sure that when you do an exercise, you're not feeling a twinge at all and make sure you are warming up, like slightly stretching it, doing PNF kind of work. Like if you know what that is, it's basically when you slowly, gradually increase a range of motion. So you warm it up and you do more and more. Doing that kind of stuff is really going to help when it comes to training with a tear such as a pector or maybe anything like a lat or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's the first episode of my road to recovery completed. Um, there'll be another one out next week. And then the week after that, it'll be my first video post up where I'll have a nice sling and um, I'll have a nice, probably some juicy uh, stitches in my shoulder. And um, yeah, so that's the end of the first one. Look forward to seeing the next one. Keep up with my socials. Remember to like, subscribe and just enjoy it. <laughs>